in this week's recap, tariffs and U.S.-China trade tensions once again become the talk of Wall Street and U.S. stocks end up lower week over week. Emotion has no place in your investments, so how do you know what news actually matters? Hi, I'm Eric, and in the next few minutes, we're gonna forget the headlines and focus on the facts. Here's what really happened last week. Stocks fell sharply at the start of last week over trade tensions, then recovered with help from strong earnings and indications the U.S.-China trade talks would continue. Even so, the major indices had a down week. The S&P 500 lost 0.76%, while the NASDAQ Composite fell 1.27%, and the Dow Jones Industrials Average declined 0.69%. In contrast, the MSCI EFI benchmark for international stocks rose 0.19%. A broad sell-off occurred Monday after China announced it would respond to increased U.S. tariffs by boosting its own import taxes on $60 billion of U.S. products. Friday morning, the street breathed a sigh of relief as the Trump administration decided to delay 25% tariffs planned for imported cars and car parts. They had been slated to take effect on May 18th. Just hours later, President Trump announced an end to U.S. tariffs on metals coming from Canada and Mexico. At midweek, Secretary of the Treasury Steve Mnuchin told reporters that he expected the U.S. to resume trade negotiations with China in the near future. The first quarter earnings scorecard is nearly complete as more than 90% of S&P 500 companies have reported actual first quarter results. Stock market analytics firm FactSet notes that 76% of these firms have beaten consensus earnings per share estimates. Overall earnings for S&P 500 components have surpassed expectations by 5.4%. Both of these percentages are above five-year averages. And a final thought, the market is quite sensitive to trade developments at the moment, and it is unclear whether this will be a short-term trend or a long-term influence on prices. While the U.S. prepares its next moves, China is also preparing its response to any new U.S. tariffs, which could include manipulating its currency. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you'd prefer to read the transcript each week, you can subscribe to that at www.erichagan.pro. Also, if you'd like to get financially organized, head on over to nocostfinancialdashboard.com and take control of your financial future. Lastly, if you want to find out if you're invested right, visit getinvestedright.com right now. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.